Greetings WordPressers. In today's show, we are going to learn how to regenerate your WordPress image thumbnails. What does that mean? Well, I'll show you what it means and show you how to do it with a classic WordPress plugin. Jackson here, welcome to the channel. This is where I share my tips, tricks, and tutorials all about WordPress. And if you are new here, please do consider subscribing and check out the description below. It's got the show notes, the links, the descriptions, and all that sort of jazz for everything that's gonna be in the show today. Plus, there's a link to download my ebook, my free ebook guide to my top 10 plugins of all time for WordPress. It's wicked, get your copy today. Right, on with today's show. Images, thumbnails, in the WordPress admin, you can set the size of the thumbnails for your WordPress website. Uh, but if you change those, it's cool. All the images going forward will be resized to the correct size thumbnails. But all the ones that you created months and months and months ago, years ago even, will remain the same size. And with this classic WordPress plugin, I'm gonna show you how to change all your thumbnails to your new thumbnail settings in just a few minutes. Let's get on with the show. The absolute classic plugin, Regenerate Thumbnails. Okay, let's do some regenerating of thumbnails. We've got a demo site here, it's the Cento theme. And on our theme, we have got a blog section and some blogs in our blog list. Uh, if we go and click on one of them, we'll see we have got the actual blog post itself. So. We're going to put a, a, a picture in some of this text to see what it looks like. Let's go to our posts admin menu and take a look at that first post in the list there. That's the one that's showing on the front end. And we're going to stick our cursor on the second paragraph and click the add media button. I'm going to choose a little picture to brighten up our blog post. So when you click on the media that you want to insert into your post, you'll see that you've got some options here. Uh, we're going to align it to the left. We're not going to link it to anything. And this is the thing that we're interested in today because we've got the options of the different sizes for the image that we're inserting into the post. So here's our thumbnail. There's the medium size. There's the large size. So I want to put in the thumbnail. So if we click thumbnail and we'll click insert into post, we'll see we get a little thumbnail. Note the little part. We update that and take a look on the front end on our blog post. We will see that we now have indeed a nice little thumbnail. It's a little bit too little. What I want is a nice, uniformed, larger thumbnail. Now, on the WordPress admin, let's navigate to the WordPress admin and settings media. This is where the default sizes are for the thumbnails, the different size images that WordPress automatically creates for you when you upload an image. And here you can see that the thumbnail size is set to 150 by 150 pixels quite small. Now the following two sizes will auto crop to the aspect ratio. So it won't make a square image like the thumbnail size. The medium and the large size will scale down the original file and maintain its aspect ratio. That's like the size it is wide and size it is tall. But you can change this uh, thumbnail size. So if we change that to 300 and 300 again, so 300 300 slightly bigger image that's going to look a little better in our blog post if we save those changes and we go back to our posts and that first blog we were working with so now we're going to go and stick a image in the next section we'll put our cursor in the text where we want it we're going to go add media but this time we're going to upload a file and we'll select the files from our desktop and there's the image that we want to be working with. Now this time, check it out, down on the bottom right hand side, look, the thumbnail has mysteriously changed to 300 by 300. That's a much better size for a nice square image in your post. We're going to align it right this time and we'll click the insert into post and there's our nice little thumbnail. Let's update that and get over to the front end and refresh to see what that looks like. And there is our nicely enlarged thumbnail but you probably spot the problem our little baby thumbnail is still the same size and this is where the regenerate thumbnails plugin comes into its own so let's go over to the wordpress admin we're going to go to plugins and add new we're going to get the text name for our plugin it's the regenerate thumbnails plugin it is an absolute classic we'll paste that into the keyword search and do a search on that and there it is the first in our list with over a million active installs. Let's install it now. 
and click the activate button and our plugin is installed. So next we need to go down to tools menu on the admin and we'll see a new menu item for regen thumbnails. Click on the link there. And all you have to do is simply click the regenerate all thumbnails and the plugin will do its business and whisk through all of the different images in your entire website. So if you've got a big, big website with tons of images, this may take a little while, but on this demo site, there's only 15 images. So that's our work done. So let's go back to the, our posts and back to our blog that we were working with. And all we have to do is click on the edit button for that original image click the update and that will automatically go grab the revised size, update our post. And if we head off to the front end and refresh our blog post, we have indeed got a much nicer looking page with larger thumbnails, beautifully sized. And that's really how the Regenerate thumbnail plugin works. Pretty simple stuff. Right then, regenerating thumbnails, it couldn't be easier with that classic of classics, Regenerate thumbnail plugin. But let me ask you, you guys out there, get your comments in below if you've got other ways of doing things, if there's tips or tricks that you know about image manipulation and management in WordPress, we would love to get your comments in the channel. But until next time, I shall see you later.